guys. We are going to revisit an old modification for your HPI 5B, 5T, uh, King Motors, Losi, all of those. All of them that use these big shocks. So we're going to be doing shock socks today. We're going to start with a inner tube. This is a 27 inch, inch and an eighth to inch and a quarter. This guy right here. You're going to obviously need your shocks, a pair of scissors, and some rope. Now the first thing we're going to do is break our springs apart here. We'll start with the short spring. What you want to do is make sure you cut this quite a bit longer than what you think you need. So I like to cut about an inch over either side. So we'll call that right about here. And once you get that cut, the first thing we need to do is turn this inside out, which is a real hassle. I'm trying to get this to turn inside out, especially when you have big fingers like I do. So what you do is you take your rope and you feed it through here. We're going to pull quite a bit through. And we're going to tie a half hitch, which is just a loop. Then you make another loop going the same direction. And you put your second loop on top of the first loop. Okay. Now we're going to feed this back through. We're going to put the loop over the outside. You're going to have a little tail here that goes to the inside, that's okay. Now keep this towards the top. We're going to go ahead and cinch that up real good. Okay. Just like that. So you should have something that looks like this. Now on the other end, we're going to start pulling that rope through. And what you want to do is just kind of grasp it in the center here. You, know, you can't see it very well. You're going to grasp it in the center and pull that rope. And it's going to start to bunch up like that. You might have to help it a little bit. For the most part, it will just slide right inside out. See how it's sliding out? Let's get to this point and just pop it out. Now sometimes the rope will stay tight in here and you'll see it will be kind of bunched up like that. If you just pull that little bunch out, the rope or the knot will slide right out. Okay. Our next step is to wash this residue off of here. We go take care of that real quick. All right. So we have our inner tube turned inside out. Residue is washed off. It's really good. Now, a lot of people try to stretch it over this way, and it's probably the hardest way to do it. I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. First, we need some soap. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Just get a little bit of soap in there. And I like to kind of work it around a little bit. Make sure you have soap all the way down. And when you put it on the spring, it's going to help uh, spread that soap around. Now, instead of going this way, we're going to go this way. And all you have to do is just start twisting this thing. As you twist, See, see how we're working it on there? And it's going to turn all by itself. And if you get little areas where it's sunk in, don't worry about that. We'll fix that later. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. See where this is pinched in here? We've got to feed this inner tube through that pinched in area, and it doesn't work doesn't really like to feed in through there. Just take some patience. Now this is a spot where you can tear it if you don't take your time. Just get a good grip on it. Keep pulling it around. See how we're pulling it through there?
rotating it. more material. Now you can see it's starting to pinch in there and that's okay, that's what we want. Once we get it all the way through that pinch will go away. Just like that. Now I'm just going to grab your ends, straighten everything out, stretch it a little bit, and that's almost done. Now here's the other part where a lot of people, in my opinion, goof up, is they leave these ends sticking out. Now I'm going to shorten them just a little bit, but I still want to leave them pretty long. Okay, so we still have probably half inch or so sticking off of there. Just like that. Now instead of leaving these sticking up, I'm going to push them in. Just like that. Makes a nice neat package. And this is a nice tight fit in there. And it'll be nice and sealed. Same with this end. Although well, this end doesn't go in this, but it'll work the same on the top. Okay. So that's all there is to it. Just repeat that for your other springs and your other shocks. We'll have a nice clean package and durable and I think I paid $4.99 for this too and it's enough to do probably two sets of shocks. If you have any questions please feel free to get a hold of me.